Okay, the question you had was about like terms and expanding in algebra. First, I'll deal with the like terms. Uh, when we're saying combining like terms, what they really mean is you put your x's together with your x's. So this goes with that. And your constants, which are just your plain numbers, should go with your other numbers. So it's like simplifying or making this equation or expression smaller by putting together the things that are the same. Put your apples with your apples, and put your oranges with your oranges, in other words. So, I've got three x's, and I've got a positive two more. So if I put them together, three x's and two x's together makes five x's. Now I can go ahead and put together my constants, in other words, just the plain numbers. So I've got a positive 5 and a negative 3. So 5 take away 3 is going to leave me with a positive 2. And that's what we do when we combine the like terms. So if we had 3x, 2x, and 10x, so if I had to add something else plus 10x onto this, I would just simply add 3x's plus 2x's plus 10x's. Now, in an equation, you might end up with some x's on this side. Maybe you've got 3x's over here. Uh, maybe you've got 2x's over here. Apologize for the sloppiness of the mouse. It's not working exactly right. So I've got two x's on this side, three on this side, and maybe I got a plus four, and then maybe I've got a, let's see, plus one. Okay. So remember, you want all your x's on one side and all your numbers on the other. So in this case, I want to move, I'm going to move this x, the two x's over here. I'm going to take away two x's from this side, but if I take it away from this side, I must add it to the other side, which is really the same as just moving this guy over here onto this side, but he changes the sign from being a positive 2x to a negative 2x. So now I've got three x's, take away two x's, Of course, I've still got my positive 1 on this side, but I don't want this positive 1 to stay on this side. I want him on the other side. So if I took away 1 from him, I've got to take away 1 from this side. So I'll just move him over to this side. So now I've got 4, which is a positive 4, take away a 1, because I moved that 1 over to this side. And, of course, your answer is going to be 3 on this side. And 3x's take away 2x's will leave you with just x. And it's a positive x. So our answer will be x equals 3 in this case. And we could check our answer by putting 3 in for x here. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. And we could also try to put 3 in over here. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. So we know that it is correct. So sometimes you might be given a simple equation where you've got to combine the like terms first to make it a little bit simpler or smaller. So if you have x's, put them together. If you have constants, put them together. And then you can move them around to whatever side you want. Rather than try to move two or three of the x's, moving that one and then moving that one to the other side, is just going to be too much work. When we're talking about expanding, all we're basically doing is getting rid of the brackets. Anything outside the brackets here that is touching the bracket, so if it's just a 3 outside here, that will simply mean multiply everything that's inside the brackets by what's outside it. So I might have 7x plus 3 outside of this bracket, okay, you would simply multiply the 3 times the 2x and the 3 times the positive 3. So you're simplifying your brackets. And that. 
if you remember bed mass, B-E-D-M-A-S, brackets are the first thing you always do when you're solving an equation. So I'll do this simple one here first. And we'll solve and see what we get for that. So first thing I'm going to multiply is the 3 times the 2x. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. So we'll have 6x's. The second thing I'm going to multiply is the 3 times the positive 3. So 3 times 3 is 9, and it's positive 9, so we've got positive 9. So anytime you see something outside the bracket, okay, it might even be, well, no, I won't even go into having an x outside the bracket, uh, but anything outside that bracket, you've got to multiply by what's inside the bracket. So if you've got 2x plus 3 plus 7, first you combine the 3 and the 7, that's like terms, and then you go ahead and do your multiplying by what's in the bracket. So I hope that explained like terms and expanding when it comes to algebra. If there's any specific example you'd like uh, me to go over, by all means, just send me an email and I can send that out to you. Thanks.